Alola everyone and welcome back to the Pokedex guide. My name is Philly Beats and in this guide we're going to be looking at all the Pokemon located in the Alola region so that you can find them and fill up your Pokedex so you can complete it. In this episode we'll be taking a look at Route 5 so without further ado let's get right into this video. So as you can see we see some of the repeated Pokemon from the beginning on previous routes. We have Lillipup showing up with a 30% chance. Caterpie 10% chance, Metapod, and Butterfree. So we got Caterpie's whole entire line in this area. Of course, we have the regional bird Peaky Peck showing up again with a 20% appearance rate. And we have Fomantis, so that's something new on this route that we can encounter with a 20% chance and Grubbin. So notably, Fomantis is a Pokemon that we're probably going to want to get on this route. Now moving on as we go up towards the Pokemon Center area on this route, we can see some other Pokemon. We get Bonsly showing up again with a 30% chance. Of course, Caterpie's entire evolutionary line is going to be up there again. Metapod and Butterfree, except Butterfree has a 5% chance this time, so you have a higher chance of getting that. We have Trumbeak, the evolved form of Picky Peck, all the way up there. So if you didn't want to evolve your Picky Peck, you just want to fill up your decks, you can catch a Trumbeak right by that Pokemon Center. We have a 30% chance of Fomantis, so if you didn't have luck in the previous patches below, you have higher luck of getting it up here. We also have Grubbin and two SOS battles. We have Hapini that shows up and a Pseudo Wudo that also shows up on this route. Of course, that interaction comes through Bonsly, so you have to start that SOS mechanic with Bonsly to get that Pseudo Wudo. Now there's also some other special Pokemon that you can get within this area. We have the Berry Tree where you can get Crab Brawler because he just loves chilling at every single Berry Tree on every route almost. In the Pokemon Center, if you trade your Lillipup, you can get a Bouncy, which is nice because that's something different and you already encountered Lillipup on this route or you, can, you already encountered it previously on another route. And of course, we can finally get a Diglett. There is a rustling spot marked with that little purple circle on that top you have a 100% chance of encountering a Diglett on all those rustling spots. So I think the most significant Pokemon on this route to encounter are Diglett, Bouncy, and the lovely Fomantis. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. There is a playlist down below in the description if you want to watch the other episodes in regards to what Pokemon to catch. I'll be constantly updating, so smash that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe. My name is Philly Beats You, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. I'm out.